Hey everyone, it's Sevi. In my full Yoimiya guide video, I discussed her best weapon options and cited the slingshot as one of them. In fact, it could surpass 4-star weapons and, in some cases, even 5-star weapons. To demo that in action, I made a quick and simple comparison test of an R5 slingshot versus Yoimiya's top bows to show her potential on an FTP 3-star bow. So before going into the damage tests, here are some important notes and disclaimers. 1. This is a C0 Yoimiya with 998 talents. She's equipped with a 2-piece crimson, 2-piece glad combo that's fairly high investment at 30 substats. Here are her stats on a slingshot build. 2. We're comparing her often cited top weapons for each rarity level. Slingshot for 3 stars, Rust for 4 stars, and Thundering Pulse for 5 stars. And I'll throw in the Skyward Harp as a baseline and representative for our 5 star standard banner option. Then, to keep things simple, the damage comparison will be averaged from her first N5 attack combo's raw pyro damage. In the final computation of every weapon, I will balance the resulting crit stats to a 1 to 2 ratio for a more accurate and optimized percent comparison. For this will have Bennett, a standard teammate of Yoimiya. The results here will also be fairly close to the results if Yunjin were instead buffing her. Without the Bennett buff, the R5 slingshot's result will have a huge difference which I'll show as well. Next, Bennett is at C6 with an alley flash and 4-piece noblesse equipped. This also unlocks pyro resonance, so that's more attack. Finally, the comparison results I show are approximations and have a margin of difference regarding someone else's build stats or theorycrafted info due to having slightly different stat assumptions. Treat this as a general estimate of their relative power level. With that, let's go to the damage comparisons. The R5 slingshot can be easily ignored by being a 3-star option and its low base attack, but for those who aren't as aware, don't underestimate the value that refined 3-star weapons can bring. For one, we can see that the crit it gives is amazing, 31% crit rate which is practically as good as a 5-star crit weapon. This helps you balance Yoimiya's crit stats better and since she ascends on crit rate, it'll let you focus more on crit damage artifact stats. Working alongside its crit rate stat is the weapon pattern passive, which gives Yoimiya a normal attack damage bonus similar to how Rust does. Since it's easily refinable, that max 60% damage bonus is practically guaranteed. The condition is that your arrows have to hit within a certain amount of time, but that condition is also very easy to fulfill as the distance you can still proc it from is very generous. Having that crit and damage bonus means your damage multipliers will be quite high, so to balance it out, you need to give Yoimiya more attack or base damage. As it happens, two of her top teammates, Bennett and Yunjin, will fulfill that condition. To demonstrate, let's first look at R5 Slingshot versus R1 Skyward Harp unbuffed. Yeah! As you can see, the slingshot falls behind the Skyward Harp. That isn't to say that the R5 slingshot is doing very bad. It's no surprise that an R1 5-star weapon should be noticeably better. Now let's see what happens when Bennett comes into play. Now this might be a surprise to some, but the slingshot, a 3-star weapon, is now at par with the 5-star Skyward Harp. For a cheap surplus 3-star bow, that's insanely good value. The reason it achieves this is basically because, again, the slingshot gives two layers of multipliers, from the damage bonus and crit damage enabled by the high crit rate stat. The Skyward Harp, while it gives a high base attack, only adds in crit value. Adding more flat attack on the already high attack stat given by Skyward Harp results in more damage diminishing returns, but the slingshot does not suffer as badly since it has a lot of multiplier values working and still has a high threshold for gaining more attack with less diminishing returns. Entering the comparison are the R5 Rust and R1 Thundering Pulse. I slapped on the R5 Rust on the same build. Like the slingshot, the Rust's high normal attack damage bonus makes it such a good weapon for Yoimiya, but since it has an attack percent substat, this resulted in a very skewed crit ratio, so the crit damage numbers are exaggerated. Again, I'll balance the crit in the computation to make it fairer and reflect better average damage. We can see that the R5 Rust is better than both weapons, but it's also no surprise since with maximum refinements, it's her second best in slot. If you're curious how a lower refined Rust will fare, the relative percent value will go down about 4% per refinement in the percent comparison. So at R5, the Rust is her second best in slot, only behind the Thundering Pulse. At R3, it's very similar in damage to the Skyward Harp and an R5 Slingshot. 
Then the Thunder Egg Pulse is Yoimiya's best of the best, regardless of comp and buff scenarios. Since it's a crit damage weapon, I replaced the crit damage circlet with a crit rate circlet of almost equal substat value. But how far is it from the others in this test scenario? As expected, the R1 Thundering Pulse pulls ahead significantly. Basically, the slingshot needs to be used with Yunjin or Bennett's buff to reach its maximum potential. When done so, it punches above its weight and also goes to show how free-to-play friendly Yoimiya can be. Also, because of this, there's less reason to craft either a prototype crescent or Hamayomi, and you can just save your precious bow billets or use them for other characters who will benefit more. At R1, the rest is potentially worse than an R5 slingshot, but with the potential for future refinements, so you can choose to stick with it and wait for duplicates. But if you're a free-to-play or low-spender player without access to these 4 or 5-star weapons, rest assured that the slingshot is right there and it can be a very effective weapon for Yoimiya despite its 3-star status. That's going to be all for this video everyone. Let me know down below what you've equipped on your Yoimiya if you have her. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing to my channel for more Genshin Impact guides and content, and I will see you all soon. Take care!